never felt like this before You gave me butterflies in my tummy like you do You just give me love and like I can only get from you, yeah They're doing out of my lungs Cause you are the only one to give me butterflies in my tummy like Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel I am on my way to the bank bank to the bank i have to go withdraw some cash i think i should get me a starbucks let me get me a starbucks first so we can chat so we can chat 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 i seriously hate that my comments are disabled still on my blog channel um people always te uh, message like on my regular channel and they're like yeah your comments are bad but it's two different channels unfortunately let me order my starbucks drink Hi. Yeah, I was just at home reminiscing about my life and how, f like, how much has happened, and I cannot believe that social media has literally changed my life. Like, it's so crazy to me. Um, it's been exactly two years since I stopped doing my seminars. And if you guys are OG followers, you guys know that I was on tour for two years and I was doing makeup seminars and all that stuff. Um, and I was traveling all over the United States. It seriously feels like it's been forever, but I feel so blessed that I've done so much with. Hi, 790. <laughs> hey guys, I'm like super stuffy for some reason. I think I was talking way too much on the way over here. I think I was talking too much. No, well the way Like I'm out of breath and all I've been doing is sitting. But we just got to the mall. <sighs> we just got to the mall. We're gonna do some shopping. And it's just me and Yvette having a girl's day today. I told her her husband's in her life now. She don't fuck with I don't me. need her anymore. Yeah. I just be using people, you know? Como un trapo <laughs> mojado cuando yo no lo necesito a la basura. <laughs> yeah, because I don't even remember the last time we went somewhere together. Honestly, think about it. When when have we gone out? We haven't yeah. gone out together in like two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. I feel like it's good. It's good for us. Not for us, but for her. She's finally hanging out with people other than me. <laughs> I know. My whole life, your whole life cannot revolve around me, Vet. You need to branch out, mm. make friends, hang out with people your age. No, I don't like people my age. You already <laughs> know that. But we're gonna go into the mall and we'll be vlogging. <laughs> Vet wants me to be a pinche culebra. <laughs> and it's long, so you'll look like a culebra. Oh, you want me to be a snake snake. <laughs> and then with this. <laughs> so it can be like, you're I'm gonna still look a mom, like a hooker you know? mom. <laughs> so you can look like I'm a hoe, but a mom too. You know? Like I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yvette's obsessed with Billy Eilish, and that is my fucking fear of life. That's so creepy. We're in heaven right now for Blanca. This is her favorite store. This one smells like a spa. Happy dance because she's getting new candles. Oh, <laughs> you don't even have clothes. I bought stuff. You bought like I three hate things. Shopping. I know. I suck. Look, Morphe. Where? I fucking hate shopping. Honestly, like I really do. I, I like online shopping better, but I came for candles all the way to Sacramento Just I for candles I love online shopping. I prefer shopping. Yvette it hates me right now because um, I bought hella candles and they're hella heavy They are. I was gonna Huh? I was I'm over here like <laughs> We're gonna go to the Morphe store and stock up and bounce we are at the wow. Morphe store. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Oh, another basket. 
<laughs> now we're gonna shop till we drop, okay? We don't have the one or nine. Guys, legit, Honey and Boo are like the best freaking mouth sticks. Ignore the big ass zit I have on my nose. Do you guys see that? It's so freaking huge. But I'm going to share with you guys the last three girls that will be joining me for Maximiliano's uh, birthday. He's actually sleeping right now. I just put him to sleep. I don't know if you guys believe in like when your baby becomes like all chipilon because another baby's coming. But Max has actually been probably like the most attached to me he's ever been. And I mean like to the point where I can't even leave the room where he'll like start panicking and screaming his life away. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, I feel like it's cute as fuck, you know, that he, he loves his mama. But, I just hope he's not feeling, like, sad or, like, neglected already. Or feeling like somebody else is coming to take their place. His place, you know? Makes me sad, but... Um, he's been super chippy long. But, I'm so excited that I finally have everything ready for Max's birthday. So... Basically, I've only announced one girl, which was Yvette. Um, I've already gotten into contact with her. And the next three girls that I'm showing you guys do not know who they are yet. I did reach out to a girl named Alexis as well. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know who Alexis is, she was actually the winner for my squad merch giveaway that I did where you hang out with the squad. So I got pregnant and then I gave birth and then like I got pregnant again. So like we never were able to book anything up to have her come down and hang out and do like that whole thing so i did reach out to her and i asked her if she wanted to just come to max's birthday meet me you know meet all our friends stuff like that so she was more than welcome to join us as well and she was 100 percent like yes like i want to do it so um originally i wanted five total girls you know to be here and spend their time with their families yvette is actually bringing her girls and um, her husband and you know her whole family is going to be joining us and as well as um, Alexis she's going to be bringing her husband so that is one thing that I I'm bringing these girls out and um, allowing them to obviously bring their families and join my family and you know join us for this celebration and I'm so 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 excited for the day to come but the very last three girls that i am actually going to be bringing as soon as you obviously know who you are send me over a dm on instagram or twitter i think twitter you actually can't send me over a dm on instagram if you don't have instagram you can just email me um it just so i can get your information because i do need to get your guys's rooms booked up and as well as who you guys will be bringing that way i know who needs to be taken care of and then obviously your location if I need to fly any of you guys out. So like I said, with Alexis and um, Yvette, they're actually in California and they're going to be driving out here. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm like so excited, guys. And I cannot wait for you guys to like see them here. Um, you know, I'm going to make sure that they're taken care of and they're part of the family because... They have been so amazing to me, especially because it's, it hasn't been just recently either. You know how like I thought that by me saying like I'm paying attention, you know, that people were all of a sudden going to start like talking to me and stuff. But these specific girls, I have I know that they've been following me and being supporters of mine for a really long time. So um, I appreciate it. And even if they weren't for a long, very long time, there's one girl who actually she hasn't been following me that long. But since she discovered me and... You know has been on social media she's been like absolutely a doll and stuff so yeah anyways the first girl is judith argueño and um her twitter name is judith coronel m1 so you guys probably have seen her all over my twitter um as well as instagram and um she has been an absolute doll like she has just shown me and my family max my everybody just so much unconditional love and 
I appreciate her so much. I don't know where she's from. I think she's from California too, if I'm not mistaken. But I would love to have you here and to send me over a DM. I can't wait to meet you. Hopefully you can make it. Um, thank you for the unconditional love and support. I appreciate you more than you probably could ever imagine. You know, I feel like when these people who don't know me personally, you know, show me so much love for my family and for my friends, for the people around me, it, it fills something that, um, you never knew was kind of missing, you know what I mean? But it just brings so much happiness to know that complete strangers truly care about you, you know, and... She's just a sweetheart, and I would love to have her join. Um, the next one is actually someone who I've had a few conversations with, but she's always been there, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure she's been following me since, like, I first, 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 first started. And that's what's crazy to me, you know, because I always hear a lot of, like, oh, my God, I, I like, she changed. I'm not going to follow her anymore. Not necessarily with me, but like other influencers. I always see a lot of that stuff, you know? So when I see people who have been following me since like 2013, 2014, I'm like, girl, you still back with me after all these years, you know? So like that makes me so happy. It makes me feel like you guys still are relating to me and you guys are still, you know, um, liking my content and you guys are still fucking with me. And yeah, so this girl is funny, seha underscore. That's her Instagram name. And, um, yeah, I don't know where she's at either. I think maybe she's, like, in New Mexico or something. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, <laughs> I was trying to, like, find locations, but I couldn't even find her. But I think she's in New Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. But, yes, um, you guys have seen her probably on Instagram, on my Twitter. Um, and I'm really excited to see you too, Funny. Hopefully you can make it as well. And then my final girl, who holds a very special place in my heart and i've always told you guys like i feel like a lot of you guys do dm me because mind you guys i get a lot a lot of dms a day like i get literally hundreds of dms a day like i don't just get like 100 like i get hundreds hundreds and hundreds sometimes even thousands especially when i just post a video and people are like you know uh tagging me and stuff like i get a lot of dms um so there's times when I do, you know, go and like I go through my DMs and I specifically, you know, post certain people and um, I've actually built pretty good like connections with a lot of my my girls on social media, which is crazy to me because I actually have converse like deep conversations with my girls. Like I like girls vent to me, they tell me about their relationships, like them being like in abusive relationships. Um, you know, they tell me about things that just yesterday, like I was actually having a really good conversation with a girl about her daughter and some medical conditions that she was going through. And, um, the fact that like people really open up to me really like just amazes me sometimes because, um, not anybody can just open up to someone like that. So the fact that they feel like they can open up to me really makes me feel special. And this specific girl, um, there's just no way I couldn't invite her. Um, she's not only going through a lot in life in general, but she has been so supportive of me, very supportive of my niece, very supportive of um, my friends. You know, I see her on everyone's comments. I see her not just on my comments. Like, I see her always supporting everybody around me. She's always, you know, on my Snapchat, snapping me. She's always on my Twitter, tweeting me. She's, um just somebody who seems like has such a genuine heart and i honestly can't wait to meet her because i feel like that's like the last thing and i'm telling you like we've had a lot of conversations um together and i know that okay so it's freaking hot in here the very last girl that i'm going to be um inviting is vanessa lima and girl I know you didn't think that I wasn't going to invite you to Maximiliano's birthday. Um, so that is her Twitter name. She knows who she is. She knows exactly who she is. And um, I'm just really, really excited to meet all of you guys. Like, I wasn't kidding when I told you guys that when I hit a million, um, whenever the day comes, when I hit a million, like, 
I am legit going to throw like a big ass party with like freaking a thousand of my freaking girls. You know what I mean? Like, and even though it's like a million to a thousand, you know what I mean? I wish I could bring a million people to come to a party with me. But when I was touring, when I was doing my seminars, the joy that I would get from just meeting you guys and getting to see you guys face to face is like a feeling that nobody could ever imagine. Like you guys have no idea, like that feeling that you get when you see the people who are on the internet. Cause it's crazy when you're online, you don't think about how many people follow you. You don't think like, you know, your video gets a hundred thousand views and you're like, oh, okay, a hundred thousand views, but that's a hundred thousand people watching you. A hundred thousand, you know, to me, it's like, that's insane. It's insane to me, you know, whenever like people are liking my pictures and people are like socializing with me, like that is a shitload of people that are just watching and, you know, just being supportive of you. So I wish I could meet all of you guys and I hope one day I do get a chance to get to meet more of you guys. And even if it means me next year throwing another party or whatever, you know, like, I want to make it happen and give more girls the opportunity to come and meet me. And just like I've always said, you know, I, I see the love and I see it from each and every one of you guys. Even if you guys were not invited, like I see the love and I see the support and I will continue to do that um, and be appreciative. And hopefully I can continue to do these things where I'm able to, you know, bring girls out, fly them in and take care of them and just give you guys a little bit of what you guys give to me like i can't even compare what you guys do for me on a regular basis but i don't want to get emotional because i'm not about to cry right now okay <laughs> but yeah guys i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching i cannot wait for you guys to meet these girls in my videos um and yeah i love you guys i will see you guys on monday's vlog Never felt like this before You gave me butterflies in my tummy line